Hey everyone, Will here from uh, Flea Market Finds for March 16, 2014. Uh, not feeling too good this weekend. Uh, kind of shows in my finds. Uh, you can tell my voice a little bit. It's uh, it sounds worse than it is right now. Uh, the worst is over, and uh, uh, we'll get back out there next weekend and find a bunch of stuff. But I did find uh, a few things. Uh, let me show you what I got. Really neat uh, cocktail shaker and uh, six amethyst uh, glass uh, cups. Uh, paid thirty dollars for that set, and uh, I think I'll put it in my store for about a hundred and twenty. Uh, makes a nice display. A couple antique books, some nice uh, uh, pictures in there. Uh, suitable for framing. Uh, they were two dollars a piece. Little uh, Schlag uh, German fairy figure that was two bucks. I've done good with them in the past. A uh, German cup and saucer, really good quality. Um, Carl, something. Uh, five bucks for that. Another nice piece of uh, German porcelain. Uh, where's the mark? Kind of looks like a uh, eagle or something there. Uh, that was five bucks. Yeah, I picked this up for a dollar, and it says, "Saturday's child works hard for a living." Um, <laughs> the original price back here. Must have come from a uh, thrift shop or something. But uh, it's surprising. Little cheap little porcelain pieces like this. Low quality. Uh, but there's collectors out there. If there's a Saturday, then they probably made every day of the week. And uh, there's probably somebody out there looking for a Saturday one. Uh, I'm thinking about 25 for this. Uh, my wife picked up a, a Limoges plate for herself. Um, that's a keeper because I don't think it's much money to be made on that. Uh, got it for 20. Very well marked. The Moves France. Uh, check out the uh, cement bag. Uh, how many of these survived? Uh, Edison Portland Cement. I got this for five bucks. Weight 94 pounds. Uh, interesting piece. Never seen one before. Uh, all of the Thompson Center uh, black powder stuff I got for half price. Everything you see here I got for uh, $30. And, uh, you know, something like this. Um, might be able to get that just for this. Uh, Thompson Contender is a very good uh, uh, Thompson Center. is a very good quality. And uh, guys, look for that. Uh, should do well with uh, with all these. I uh, got a site for an AR-15 uh, for a flat top. Uh, that was 25. I'll probably end up keeping that one myself. Got a uh, magazine pouch for a uh, clock made by El Paso Saddle Saddlery. Good quality. That's about a uh, $20 uh, mag pouch. Uh, moving on, ammo. Got some good buys on ammo here. Uh, one, two, three, four boxes of ammo <clears throat> for $30. You can see the price alone for this one box $31. Uh, I've noticed a lot of ammo coming on the market, and actually, um, my theory is that uh, there was a ammo scare about a year or two ago everybody rushed out and got ammo because they thought they wouldn't be able to get it anymore and uh, I think those guys now need some money and they see the ammo sitting around and it's uh, coming out but uh, uh, once again I won't be selling this this will be uh, going in my own little stash couple uh, neat little ashtrays from uh, funeral homes. They've got some funeral home co directors, uh, collectors out there. 
a little bit of snow coming down right now. Uh, good deal on the Zippo. Too bad it doesn't have anything written on it, but it's still in the original box. I got that one, and I got this one, Leo. It's a uh, Zippo. And I got this one. Don't know what that, uh, I guess it's some company mark. Uh, Zippo 2. All three for 20 bucks. Can't, can't go wrong there. A couple of uh, Fenton Art Glass uh, Deer. Hand painted. Uh, they uh, were 15 for the pair. Cast Iron Lobster Bottle Opener for uh, four bucks. Bottle openers always do well for me, uh, the figural type. This was a really interesting piece. I've never seen one like this before. Um, this could be a sleeper. Now, even with his shoe broken off right here, uh, it's a black Americana, a uh, nice piece, cast iron. A uh, guy playing a banjo, got some uh, paint on him, but I think I'll just leave it the way it is. Uh, could be a good beast. Got to do a little research. I haven't done any research into any of this stuff. A uh, American beer glass, mint condition. Uh, that was three dollars. Couple of uh, sterling silver uh, spoons. Is he the mark? Uh, paid twenty-three dollars for a pair of these. It's at least two or three ounces of uh, silver there, um, so probably more in melt value uh, than twenty-three as it stands right now. Don't think I'll be selling these. I'm going to stash them away. Uh, I think silver is going to be rising. Frontier Hotel. Uh, don't think that's around anymore. Ashtray. Good little uh, Vegas collectible there. A uh, case knife from. Uh, get the focus here. Worthington Steel. Record month. I guess they gave these out to the employees. $12. Uh, blade needs a little bit of light cleaning, a couple little spots on there. Uh, but you can see it's never been used. It might be a $40, $50 knife there. Uh, this is pretty good. A uh, tankard. August 1965, May 1966. Uh, area Command. Um, and uh, from Germany and hold it up to the light and got a uh, woman inside you never know it by uh, looking at the bottom pretty good quality and uh, they call these uh, lithopanes um, pretty good a uh, nice old lamp here with a uh, hand painted base. This used to be, and it's got a cast iron bottom, this used to be a uh, oil lamp that uh, somebody electrified a long time ago. Uh, paid uh, 25 for that. But uh, I think that'll appeal to the uh, oil lamp collectors. I guess they could uh, convert it back if they wanted to. Got a uh, whiskey bottle to uh, celebrate the uh, 100th Kentucky Derby winner, uh, Cannondale. Got him for five bucks. Back here, some uh, paper mache uh, Easter eggs. Nice lithographs on those. That was twenty dollars for the basket, made in uh, Germany. Uh, the uh, mirror there handheld or you can mount it up on the wall. I thought it was really different. Uh, kind of a 60's retro hippie theme going on there. Uh, five bucks. Uh, we got one, two, three, four footballs uh, for forty dollars. Uh, these are the uh, from the three here from Baltimore Colts. 
Wilson's a nice uh, official Wilson uh, uh, ball with uh, Pete Ruzel uh, signature um, for the uh, Baltimore Colts probably get 40 bucks a piece for those alone not sure about the uh, Wilson ball and uh, Ravens training camp 2009 with a bunch of signatures but I have no idea who these guys are I'm thinking maybe that's a J maybe a Joe Flacco but uh, got to try to figure out who these guys are <clears throat> that was uh, 25 I paid for that just based on the uh, signatures uh, took a chance on that one uh, over here we got a Star Trek model uh, $6 Mr. Scott still in the original wrap uh, cast iron ashtray what makes it a good one is it's a uh, Griswold uh, don't see them very often um, I forget what these are going for that was uh, seven I paid for that got another uh, VIP pass for two dollars uh, somebody in the NASCAR ought to like that um, we're gonna end part one right here I uh, just remembered I gotta go pick up a couple things out of the back of my truck and I will be right back it's the end of part one